Hello there, I am Man in Yellow and welcome to a new series of Road to Sum of All Fears. I already did a Road to Sum of All Fears before, it was actually what I started the channel with, but I thought I would do a new one now since it's been more than a year since I started the last one, and it of course gets harder and harder for new players the more time passes, because everyone who's already playing the game is leveling up more and more. We are seeing like very high levels at the top of the ranks now, so that kind of goes all the way down to the lower levels also, which just means in a couple years this might be very hard to do, at least in a reasonable time frame. That is also why I want to try it again and see how much harder it is now compared to before. For anyone who didn't watch the first one, the idea behind this series is that I will create a new account, as you can see I'm doing that right now, and I will climb from the lowest rank, GBGBs, which is still funny to me, to the highest one, which is some of all fears, obviously. I also think it's a good series to refresh every now and again, just because for one there's the part where it gets more difficult, but it's also just good for showcasing for newer players what you should be doing and how to pile up the early stages like which packs to buy, what to upgrade, what to focus on, which phobies you should use, stuff like that, which starting pack to go for. I will of course not be spending any money on it because that would kind of ruin the purpose of the challenge, but I also just don't spend money on games outside of fully buying ones, so I haven't spent money on phobies yet, not on my main either. But I will be watching ads for coffee and cards, which is something that everyone who's playing the game should be doing if you have the time to do so of course, just because they are like very easy to do. You watch like a 30 second ad and you get a bunch of free stuff, that's pretty good. I will not be using the offer wall though, simply because that would be kind of weird, like doing a couple episodes where I'm doing other games that wouldn't make any sense really. But you should be doing the offer wall if you have, again, the time to do so, because some of the offers there are really easy for how much coffee they give. In addition to that, I will also not be playing on the account when I'm not recording. Oh, I like aside from of course opening the adjects and stuff like that I might not record that because you don't want to see me to go through like five ads that doesn't make any sense so you will be seeing everything else that's happening from start to finish and that's really all there is to it it's just climbing from the lowest rank to the highest rank and seeing how hard or easy it is currently anyway I will let the intro play now without talking over it because it's a pretty cool intro in my opinion so there's no reason to really like interrupt it I don't think the music also will die beforehand Open your eyes. Oh, come and see what's inside. You've been ready for a while. All you lacked was a diamond. You all thought you found your own congratulations. <laughs> I'm happy. Your trust is gone. The orphans were roses. Okay. And that was the intro there. I like don't know how many people even remember that anymore if you're someone who's played for a long time because I didn't remember it until I started playing like doing the whole road to some of all fears thing because it's been so long on the first account since I've seen it we will just quickly go through this tutorial without like listening to everything Libby has to say or Stuff like that, because I don't really see any reason to not do that. If you're a new player, you're probably going to go through the tutorial yourself anyway. If you're not, like, watching this doesn't make any sense. So I might as well go, th like, quickly through it. So I'm just going to see how fast I can do it. I also already did this once before, actually. Trying to get the right starter pack, but I got the wrong one. Which is why I just restarted again. It was a bad take anyway, really. But... 
Let's see if I can get lucky this time and get the right one. The right starting pack is just anything with Hebo in it, really. Which I I don't know if there are multiple. I actually can't remember anymore. I did a bunch of resets back in the day, but I can't remember like whether there were other things you could get from it or anything like that. But I think there's only like a couple different packs you can get. And the one you really want is just anything with Hebo in it. Because Hebo is fantastic, and if you're not getting Hebo, you're getting Star Master. And Star Master is the opposite of fantastic. It is absolutely terrible. So, that's why you want that. You also get Alligator over the fish tank, which is way better. It doesn't take that long to do this tutorial thing, but... It's still a little bit annoying that you can't skip it or something. Although I think it's also better that the newer players can't skip it. So it's kind of weird where whenever an old player wants to make a new account, which a lot of like the older players have, they have had a second account or had one. But whenever we want to do that, we don't really like going through this too many times because you kind of have to go through it too. Like, get the pack that you want. I think they should just make it so you could choose which of the packs you want at the beginning. So, some people would choose Cassowary maybe because they like it more. And other players would choose Evo as their pack. Because I don't think you can get both of those in one pack at the beginning. I think that's impossible to get as your starter pack. Otherwise, that would easily be the best one because both are very, very good. The reason why I recommend people go for Hevo instead of Casuary is because Casuary is mainly like really good for small maps. It's also good on large maps, but it's not like super high impact or anything there. So you would rather have Hevo, which is a very very solid unit on large maps and somewhat usable on some small maps too. At least that's my opinion, but a lot of it also just comes down to like if you're missing out on Cassowary, you're probably getting a decent 2 key anyway. If you're missing out on Hevo, you're getting a terrible 5 key. And you're also getting a terrible 7 key instead of a somewhat usable 7 key. So, that, that's a lot to consider when choosing your starting pack. And also just whether you want to reroll. Though I recommend that you do reroll for the right pack here. Because it's very annoying to not have Evo when you go on larger maps. At least I've heard that from some players. They don't really like going into large maps and not having the Evo. Just because it makes you f like... For one, it's just a really, really good unit. But you also end up being somewhat vulnerable to poison if you don't have mechs. And if you're not having Evo early on, there's actually not that many good two movement mechs. It's only like the Hevos and then Mother Load and like one or two more I think. I can't remember all of them but there's not that many two movement two range mechanicals in the game. So getting one of them at the beginning for free is very very good and although Kazuari is really really good you can kind of play without it. It's fine. You would prefer to have it obviously. But it's the less good choice, in my opinion. I think it would be pretty interesting to have this map in the actual game, because we don't right now. This is only a tutorial map. Also, if you're wondering why some of this looks a little bit slow in comparison to what you would normally see in the game it's because I'm doing this over a emulator so this is Bluestacks 5 which makes the game run slightly slower I guess I hope it doesn't end up being like super laggy or anything that like that in the recording but it does make the game slightly laggy at times but you know what can you do I don't really want to swap over when I also want to be doing the daily Ajax and stuff like that we're just gonna Probably murdering that. Hit it here. 
I could have used the Mondi and taken another point that might have made this faster, but whatever. I'm just trying to end this as fast as possible because it's against Lippy and that's obviously not a real fight. Don't even think they killed your things in this. Yeah, you can see it's not even killing my things. So I can just murder him here very quickly. I also think the hard health might be lower than normal. Or maybe you just have that low health, I can't remember. I believe I get the starting pack now, or maybe I have to do one more match, I can't actually remember it. Okay, yeah, we do get the starter pack. Yeah, I'm just crossing my fingers that I will get the right one, because otherwise I have to restart again. Which you of course won't have to watch, I will just reset it and get to this point again. We got the right one. This is the one that I want. You won't get a hero, you get an alligator. That's the big thing. Because otherwise these are Stair Master and Fish Tank and those units are atrocious in my opinion. So that's why I like going for this. The other one actually has better early game stuff but eventually you will want larger phobies too and then having this stuff is a lot better. Well, it, the other one is also kind of weird because it has a lot of mix since I believe it has both fish tank and bomangles and stuff like that. And everyone has erratic and erratic is very used early on. So I'm not a big fan of that one. I actually didn't think of a name for this yet. Hmm... Is that too simple? That might be too simple. <laughs> What's a good name? Actually, let's just go... I don't think I can name it King in Yellow, right? I think that's too long. Oh, I can? Okay, no, that name is taken. And I don't have enough text to name it anything else. That's annoying. For anyone who doesn't know that uh, my name and the whole in yellow thing is a reference to one of Lovecraft's characters and the stories that he wrote named Hastua. I think I already had one that was named Hastua, right? So I don't think I can name it that either though. I'll just go yellow. That's almost certainly already run someone called yellow though, right? Yeah, there is. Mm. Zero imagination. I'm not gonna do this here, obviously. I'm just gonna call it Road to Solve. I should probably have thought about a more creative or funny name to use. <laughs> I can't come up with anything on the fly right now. This also makes it easy to recognize for anyone who meets me. The first couple matches are always the same, I think. And they are obviously against AI. So you can just, like, do whatever you want and win, I think. There's not really any way to lose the first bunch of stuff you are going into here. For fun. 
Is that supposed to be... What is that? I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a radic? Because it has like those two things. Hmm. It's a weird avatar. Wouldn't that be a radic? He also has those two. Yeah, it's probably a radic. It's a weird looking erratic though. And why is he reading a book? Just going double one key here, I think. not make any sense as I open it. I just need to die it though. This pack is also slightly weaker in the four key slot though I think. I think unbearable is probably a better one to have early on. But it's kind of whatever. You could also choose the other pack if you really want to, but I just think this is better and fits my playstyle a lot more at least. Let's just throw Hugo in here. Can this actually die? I'll put it here. I don't know if it could actually die. I don't think it could. But there's no reason to even put it near, actually. It doesn't matter. I wish Primate was a little bit better. It's a kind of funky unit. Looks like kind of creepy compared to a lot of the other units in the game. It should probably get a small buff just because I think they could give some of the worst starters some buff or buffs. Like just to make it easier for newer players. Like they could buff the Gesundheit, they could buff Primate 9 without any problems occurring. Both of the seven keys could honestly do with a small buff also. I'm probably going to see if I can play for my first 1000 tiers pack. I believe you get that or you will have to take that as your first one. So you get it pretty quickly here, you just finish the two AI matches. So I'm just gonna go full aggressive here. End it quick. I actually don't know when you unlock being able to do the app thing. Like if we look at my... Oh, I don't even have quest quests yet. So I can't even look at that yet. Maybe it's when you unlock quests that you get that.
but that doesn't work out very well. Guess I'll just kill it with this, maybe. Mm. Kind of want to fly over and hit this, is the thing. What other units should I bring? Just this, maybe? Then I will... Maybe it's just a grave digger. It doesn't matter much. This is AI. Let's be honest. Can do whatever you want here. I actually like using Primate until you have Ginsting, which takes a little while. It's not long until you get Ginsting, but still, it does take a little bit. Ginsting just feels way superior though, in most cases. It's only on like some Stimpad maps that you can make an argument for something else being better. I plan on splitting the episodes up also so that they don't end up being too long. This first one will probably be a little bit longer than some of the other ones maybe, I don't know. But that's just because you have to go through a lot of like stuff where you're not even thinking or doing anything. It's just straight up killing the opponent very quickly since it's AI. So I might as well get all of that out of the way instead of having to do that for multiple games or anything like that. I think you'll face AI for a while at the beginning, but the first couple ones are like AI that isn't even doing anything. Like they're just sitting back and letting you kill them, which makes sense when you have new players coming in, obviously. Just end it here. Could probably have ended it before this. Now we should be forced to buy the first tier pack, I believe. If I remember the process correctly. Yep. It is pretty big because this is a new one and sometimes it's very good, sometimes it's Sometimes it's droney, I guess. <laughs> that is not something I'm gonna be using a lot. But it doesn't matter, it's just a starting common. You get a bunch of free copy at the beginning, is basically just what they're saying here. I'm gonna quickly open all of these. So that we can go into the collection for a second here. And I will talk about what you should do in the collection and stuff like that. And between this and the next episode, I will do the, you can see down here, the video ad for Jack stuff. That stuff is very, 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 very good to do. 
because they give you a lot of cards over time. Like it may not seem like much when you're doing one or two of them every now and again, but over like a couple of weeks that ends up being a lot of cards you're getting for free and a lot of coffee. I still don't have quests. I do not remember when you're unlocking quests. But now we get to the collection part here. And the basics of collection is essentially you just want to upgrade what you're going to be using the most. That is really what it comes down to. But there are also some that benefit more or less from being leveled up. Something like a grave digger is of course still good to level up, but it doesn't benefit as much as something like Jar Cannon. Because Jar Cannon is very low health. So this goes from being like killed by one hit to being killed by two hits. It's very, very good all of a sudden. Whereas Brave Deck, I won't quite do that most of the time, even if he's well upgraded. But really, you just, like I said, you just want to focus on the ones that you're going to be using a lot. And that actually just means you're going to want to be focusing on smaller cost units. A lot of players make, or not a lot probably, that most players have probably realized by now that's incorrect, but some new players will like go into the game and they will only upgrade their... 5, 6, 7 and maybe some 4 keys and they will leave all of these 1s and 2s and 3s behind. Especially the 1s I've seen a lot of people just leave behind because they're thinking, oh 1 keys are only just used for taking panic points anyway. But the reality is that they actually fight very well and have very good stats for their cost. So you don't actually want to do that. You want to level everything that you're using a lot and you're going to be using 1 keys a lot because they are like the most important thing to be using a bunch. This will also give us race amount of cards when we level up here, though I won't have enough XP for it right now. But I'm just gonna start out by upgrading the Murder Wing and the Jar Cannon. Those are kind of your two first focus points, basically no matter which starting pack you get, unless you get something super powerful from your first like 1000 tier pack. But they're always very very good to have at high levels because Murdering wants to be able to kill a, a Jar Cannon that is high level, and Jar Cannon wants to be so high level that it doesn't die in one hit. So they are kind of like the opponents that you see for a very long time. And both of these units keep on being good for the rest of the game. Like, they are always good. Jar Cannon has fallen a slight bit off, but it's still a very, very good unit. And, like, it's not going to completely disappear because it's always going to be an annoying thing. That's really what it comes down to. Now there is of course something with priority between units and stuff like that. But early on you just want to be leveling your small, like all of the small units that you use a lot. So Raise them out, Control Show, K9000, all of these three keys are very, very good. And these are also ones you will keep on using forever. Kivo you can maybe upgrade if you're going to be using that and Erratic also. But really the priority just has to be given to all of the very small units. And that's all it really comes down to. Also, there is an event. Jesus Christ, a lot of pop-ups here. There is an event going, because you have, but you have to be level 10 before you unlock it. I actually wanted to do this bef like when there wasn't an event, but they literally just put events back to back right now. And I don't know if they will keep doing that, but I didn't want to just wait anymore. Because maybe they are just putting events up all of the time. So that's why I just chose to do it anyway. Either way, I think I will end the first episode here, and then I will see you guys in the next one. It will just be going through a lot of games here at the beginning, but that's perfectly fine. That's like the exact same thing that's going to happen if you're a new player, so that's a realistic thing to do anyway. Bye.